Alrighty, folks, I thought I'd make a quick video uh, to explain a couple things to people about uh, stator failures or failures to charge. Uh, so my bike has given me indications that the stator has failed and it died yesterday as a result. However, I'm going to now verify before I open it up and start doing work. So right now my battery, when I'm going to test with my meter here, is charged to 13 volts, which is a good strong charge for the battery, right? I've had it on the trickle charger all night. It's been plugged in, so that power did not come from the stator. It came from an external source, right? So for those of you who don't know, what the stator does is it's actually just a set of copper windings that when exposed to magnetic forces generate electricity. So the stator is just the copper part, and then there's a charging rotor, which is a magnetic rotor that spins when the engine runs, and it only generates electricity as the engine's running. When it's off, it does nothing okay so really technically it doesn't have anything to do with the bike starting however if the stator fails while you're riding your battery will eventually die because there's nothing to replenish its power and then your bike will no longer be able to run electrical loads like the fuel pump the spark plugs all of the sensors the computer none of that will have power and that's why your bike will die that's why with a bad stator bump starting really doesn't help because you can't really generate electricity once it starts, so it just dies again, you know, if it even manages to start. But if it's a dead battery, bump starting can work, because once the bike gets going, the stator supplies electricity until you turn it off again. So in my case, the bike died as I was riding, and I did observe the voltage at my gauge cluster dropping down, which is an indication that my battery was dying due to a lack of electricity being supplied. Uh, so now that I've recharged it, I'm going to go ahead and start it up, and I'm going to measure voltage first at the battery, and it should sit around 14 at idle. I know this bike, it usually sits at 14 around idle if uh, the stator works. And if I don't get an um, acceptable voltage here, this right here is the connection to my voltage regulator. So if, you, if I follow this wire, you can actually see it goes to my voltage regulator right down here, and then these wires actually go back directly to the stator. So the way it works is there's three phases, right? And the three phases added together is actually the input voltage to the voltage regulator, right? So at idle, each of these phases should be around four and a half volts because if you add that together, it comes out to more than enough to charge the battery even at idle. And then the voltage increases as the bike revs up and the voltage regulator then steps the voltage down to what the battery needs, right? So I'll test here with the bike running. I'm guessing I'm not going to get the 14 volts I should see. And then I'll test at the stator and I'm guessing that I'm going to get around four and a half volt to two of the phases and I'm guessing I'm going to get zero or one volt at one of the phases because the, the indications I saw really tell me that most likely I only lost one phase but losing enough losing one phase is enough for the bike to die while it's idling right but, but when I rev it up sometimes the other two phases can make up for that one bad phase which is what I suspect was happening yesterday all right without further ado let's get this bike started you're probably not going to be able to hear me over the motor so just remember i'm going to test the battery and then i'm going to directly test each connection here to see if the what the raw voltage out of the stator is and i expect to see one phase not making as much power as the other two or none at all she should start because the battery is good I usually don't trust neutral lights, but I'm working with one hand, so I'm going to hope that it is indeed in neutral. Oh, sometimes she starts a little hard when she's cold, so don't stress that too much. Oop. She sounds kind of ugly. difficult to get in the connection apart however 
one of these wires has gotten very hot right in here one wire has gotten very hot which indicates to me that that might be the shorted phase i'm just gonna unplug this and restart the bike back up it'll run on raw battery power only i'm sorry i have to put the phone down there we go he didn't want to work with me a minute ago okay we're gonna test it one more time okay Okay, so we're getting no real stator output, sadly. So it looks as if I have lost all phases. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up 